In this video, we'll be talking about Oprah Winfrey looking for an invitation from Buckingham Palace to go to the Queen's funeral. Stay tuned. If you are new to this channel, interested in this topic, consider to subscribe and hit the bell. Now there are a few things that I want to mention to you guys. Number one, she owned come by herself, especially after the interview. There's a conversation it. about how dark your baby is going to be. What I mean by that is Oprah Winfrey, if she does get the invitation, she is going to bring her crew, she is going to bring her team for more news, for more juice. <laughs> And this is why we should not allow Oprah Winfrey to go to the funeral, let alone going to the funeral. She should not even get a UK visa. But we know that this is something Oprah desires so much because it is going to be profiting her a lot. She is going to bring her whole team. She is going to bring everybody, whoever can contribute to a little bit of more news, a little bit of more fake news, I should say, so that she can use this information, this fake news, collecting from her own team in her next interview with Meghan Markle and blast the British monarch one more time. <laughs> Meghan Markle will make it a big issue. If Oprah Winfrey is being turned down, we know from the report that Meghan is the person who is now lobbying, who is now asking the Buckingham Palace, the British monarch, to invite Oprah under the name My Friend. So Meghan Markle, if she says the monarch is not moving, is not inviting Oprah Winfrey, then she is obviously going to come out in public and blast the British monarch saying that, oh, this is because of her skin color. Remember what she said before? She labeled the British monarch with racism every single time she gets an opportunity. If you are a person of color and you are not being invited or if you are not being talked to by the British monarch or if they treat you in a little bit of different way, it means you have been a victim of racism by the British monarch. This is how Meghan Markle wants to portray. If Meghan Markle doesn't get this invitation, obviously what she's gonna say, I'm gonna be going out and tell the whole world that these people are racist. Look, Oprah was not invited. So you approve. Hey, one more time. Hey. Now before I move on to this topic one more time and share with you some very, very important news, I want to tell you this. US President Joe Biden, he was invited and he accepted the invitation to go to the Queen's funeral. This is something we can confirm. It is very, very important for me to mention the head of state getting this invitation. Why? Because this is my fourth point. Oprah Winfrey, she wants, yes, she wants to be ranked among the head of state. She wants to be seen herself by the whole world as someone who has very, very high status. That is the status of the US president, you know, the UK prime minister and whatnot. This is why I mentioned that Joe Biden was uh, invited and he accepted the, the invitation. There is one report that is telling us, according to the Telegraph, in fact, they said that Lilibet, Archie and Doria Ragland, they are going to be flying in to UK. This is a very highly likely chance. The reason for that is because they are leaving a part of Meghan and Harry for more than a week now. They do not want to be apart from the whole family for so long. So therefore, there is a good chance, according to the, the Telegraph again, that Meghan Markle and Harry will fly Lilibet Archie and Doria into UK. You might argue why they would do this. Well, the reason is obvious because Meghan Markle, she wants more clash. She wants more friction. She wants more news. Once Lilibet and Archie and Doria, especially Doria, they all come in, what will happen is Meghan will then be like, yeah, look how they are treating my family and how they're treating Kate and William's family. Oh my God, racism, right? Again, she is going to be inviting them not because she cares for the queen or anything else, but because she wants to talk more against the British monarch. She needs more juice. She needs more content. And obviously we know she will be giving all of this information her from her observation 
to none other than Netflix. It is very important for Megan to fly the rest of the family members to UK so that she can have what she wants. This is my fifth and last point. Oprah Winfrey, she wants to have the best of both worlds. In US, she wants to make millions and billions of dollars by blasting, by trashing the British monarch. <laughs> At the same time, in UK, she wants to be seen among the president, the prime minister, head of state. So she wants everything to work for her. This is a very narcissistic mindset that Oprah Winfrey has. And to be honest with you, I have lost a lot of respect. I don't know if I have any, but I have lost a lot of respect for her, especially now that I'm hearing this news that she is trying to come to UK, you know, somehow sneak into the funeral and take picture and be bragging about it on her next interview with Meghan Mark. This is so important for Oprah too. Why? Because her career is falling apart. Yes, many people, they have turned away from her who used to listen to her, who used to watch her interview. So it is coming at a very good time for Oprah. If she gets invited, it is going to be a bonanza. If she is not getting invited, her career, which is already facing a lot of challenges, people are turning away it will make it even worse oprah not telling the whole world outwardly and not making a big issue at the moment she is gonna try her best to lobby the british monarch so that somehow she can salvage her career another thing that i want to mention to you if she gets invited oprah winfrey it will be rewarding her for her bad bad behavior against the british monarch this is why a growing number of people are reporting it and at the same time a lot of people are saying she should not be coming why because she what she did she threw the entire british family under the bus now if you are coming and being invited and being welcomed it basically means that yeah you can do whatever you want against the british monarch you can trash them you can do whatever you can make more interviews with with megan in the future we would not have any problems so this is not a very very healthy thing to do so we need to stop her because if we don't then we are rewarding her bad behavior whether Oprah Winfrey is invited or not it doesn't matter she is going to be talking about it regardless why invite she is gonna be talking to Megan explaining and sharing trying to be relatable with Megan and so many other people saying that you know what yeah I also wanted to go there do you know what they said to me they said you are not welcome and this is exactly how Oprah will express because we know she goes like oh your skin color your son's skin color oh so exactly this is how she will behave this is, she's a big actor remember Oprah Winfrey regardless whether she's invited i mean if she's invited then obviously she's gonna brag about it and at the same time she will be throwing them under the bus there is no doubt this is going to be a huge image booster for oprah winfrey if she's invited the, her brand will flourish in the next interview she will have more money coming in because pr producers sponsors they will be like yeah oprah winfrey she went there she knows it firsthand so let's make it a much bigger issue let broadcast it in a much bigger way so that we can make more money i want to know your opinion do you think oprah should be invited do you think she should be going there leave a comment i'll see in the next video